All right, guys, so we are excited to bring you another house tour from our Greenville lot here in Greenville, North Carolina. Um, this is a uh, Manus home. It is a three-bedroom, two-bath home with a lot of fantastic features in it. So come on in, follow me inside, and we'll take a look. All right, guys, so we are inside our beautiful new home here on our Greenville lot. Uh, this is the first time we've shown this home. This is a modular. Um, it is a gorgeous modular and built very, very well. We have two by uh, six side walls and two by four walls on the interior of this home. It is just a solid house. You can just tell it by walking in it. But guys, I just wanted to show off this massive living room. I mean, it is huge. And you can kind of see, get the, get the vibe for it that it is massive. You can fit a huge sectional here with two or three chairs. I mean, a, 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 a sofa table behind the sectional when you're walking in. I mean, just fantastic. We did also put in um, some a media outlet here that is kind of in its own little cove for your TV. You can mount it. It is fully finished sheetrock. Um, and other tips too, just when you're shopping at our, at our lots, I have had this question a lot recently. Some of our homes do not have finished sheetrock. Um, they are just at a lower price point and a lot of people have asked if they can mount stuff on those. Yes, you can. It is sheetrock, it's just with wallpaper and strips instead of finished like this home. So I just wanna throw that tip in there. <laughs> but um, you can mount on any of our walls, any TV, as long as you hit a stud, you should be fine. Um, I love that the thick crown molding is in here as well. We do have this uh, textured ceiling throughout, and it actually is a really good height. It's about eight and a half foot um, height, I think, somewhere in that ballpark. So if we come on in this way, I want to show you these two massive bedrooms back here. These rooms are not your normal size bedrooms. They're actually a really, really good size. So if we come on in here, as you have seen, I love that this house has some character even on the inside. There's a bump out here that really just kind of adds the character to the front and the exterior of the home, but also on the interior of the home. It kind of makes you want to get a little bench and set it up here and curl up and read a book, you know, whatever you want to do. But for a kid's bedroom, I mean, they have a bedroom slash playroom. I mean, that's how massive this bedroom is. Um, it is, I think it is about, hold on, let's count about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, about 11 and a half to uh, 15 foot wide room. Um, it is just huge. You don't get bedrooms this big most of the time. So if you come on in here, your comments have been kind of funny, and I've noticed this in this house, is that a lot of um, people have complained about the wire shelving. Well, this one does still have the wire shelving, but it has an upgraded wire shelving in it. Um, so we did put these little hooks, which makes it super sturdy. I mean, I'm a big guy and I'm pulling down on this. It's not going anywhere. You're gonna have tons and tons of storage space in here, as well as tons of strength for the um, wire shelving. Now, it does curve, so it does kind of give it a little bit of character, but I wanted to point that out in these bedrooms that it doesn't just have your normal wire shelving. Um, I love these doors. I'm going to show that door off. It is a two panel door, but also they added some character to it to add these little lines in it. Just makes a big difference. And I want to show you guys, we'll stop in between the two bedrooms and I'll let her peek in there and show the secondary bathroom, which is also a fantastic size for this home. So you also have, as you can see, the bookshelf next to the uh, shower tub combo, one piece shower tub combo. Uh, you can put just plenty of linens, towels, bath wash, soap, whatever on those shelves. But you also have a three bank out of drawers and, and you have some really beautiful cabinets that are soft clothes as well. So this room, I mean, this is honestly, you could add more storage over here on this wall by the door. There is a ton of space. We put in a beautiful transom window above as well. Um, and of course we carried out the thick crown molding, five and a half inch crown molding throughout this bathroom. And show it off. So guys, we're coming in here. 
uh, we do have another bedroom. Now, this is a modular home. So if you come up here, I want to show this. Um, all, not all of our modular homes have this, but some of them do. So just like a traditional home, we do have a pull down attic stairs here. Now, this roof is probably around, I think a 712 or, or 612 roof pitch. So you do have space to put in a uh, stairs or attic staircase. So that way you can use this, the attic as storage. It makes life really, really nice. Um, again, huge, huge secondary bedroom. And of course, we have a massive closet to match. We'll point that out in there. Again, those wire shelvings, the upgraded wire shelvings that we have done makes life a little nicer. So again, I wanted to point out that we did have two by six exterior walls throughout. And you can see how thick these walls are. This number one gets you a ton of insulation and number two, it just makes the home feel sturdier also whenever, especially when you live in Eastern North Carolina in hurricane territory. So <laughs> these homes are built fantastic. Uh, so if you come follow me, we'll show you the kitchen and then the master bedroom. <clears throat> I really want her to come around this corner and get this view. And we're on our lot here in Greenville right now. But again, you've probably seen these windows before, but these windows are probably one of our best features on any of our houses. Um, there are uh, these floor to almost floor to ceiling windows and they let in so much natural light into this great room and into the kitchen. So it just makes waking up in the morning that much better. Now, if you can imagine a pond or something else looking out those windows or just even a cotton field or, or a tobacco field or any kind of field you're out on the farm, whatever, this house would bring in some of that natural beauty. So if we're coming on in here, a couple of features I wanted to point out in this kitchen is that we do have rounded edges on the countertops throughout the home. We do have solid wood cabinets and they are soft closed doors and soft closed drawers as well. So if we come a little closer, I want to point out that these are dovetailed and they also are wood. So they're not Flake board, they're not plastic, they're not anything like that. These cabinets will literally last you a lifetime. Um, we did put in a really good sized pantry in here as well. So fantastic space in there if you're a canner or if you just want to stock up for COVID-19, then we have you covered. <laughs> I had to make that joke, I'm sorry. Serious times so though, stay home if you can. Because we don't want anybody getting sick. Um, but we do have this gorgeous, huge sink. It is a single basin sink, but it is massive. And we do have the pull down uh, faucet with that as well. All the appliances in here are stainless steel. It does look blue, but I swear they're stainless steel. They're brand new, so we're trying to keep them brand new for you. We did put in a Euro hood above the flat top stove. And we also put in this tile backsplash that goes all the way to the ceiling to kind of draw your eye up. And we also have this trim, this beautiful trim around the top of the cabinets here in the kitchen. So I love how this kitchen has turned out. Another thing is, and I'm sure you've seen, is this floor. It is a different type of barn wood. It's not as dark as you've seen in the past, but it still really kind of emulates the old school barn wood floors that you are used to seeing in some of these older homes. So we come in here, I wanna show you this room. Now this house is not a huge, huge house, but what they did was they made each individual room just massive. This laundry room is not something that you typically see, but we do have space for a deep freezer here. And we also have space for your washer and dryer as you saw when you walked in. So again, we have pointed this out and have it in the last couple of videos, is the whole house shut off valve. So if you were to have a leak down the road, you just come right here, cut it off, 
and your whole house is cut off from water. Makes it a lot easier. We did put two wire shelves above where your washer and dryer will go, so that way you can have space to put your uh, washing detergent and whatever else you might need up here. Back door entrance in this room as well. So if we follow me, we will take you to the master. I don't know if we caught this on the way in, but there is a coat closet and a really nice uh, little built-in credenza here. So when you walk in the door, you could just throw your keys right on the little thing. And it's perfect for your guests when they come over as well, take your shoes off, you know, just kind of do their own thing. Again, here's a coat closet. Wanted to show that off. There is a lot of space in there just for a coat closet. So like I said, this house, they really thought about every room and they made every room as massive as possible. Coming on in here, as you saw on the outside, here's that little uh, little built-in, little bump out uh, that gives the exterior some, some character, but it also gives your master bedroom some character. So if you put, you know, like a little chair sitting here in the corner, it gives you a little extra space and that little extra space makes a big difference. Even though this room is massive, literally massive, then you still need every little bit of space that you can. So if we come on in here, I wanna show you this master closet. Now, again, massive, massive, massive closet. Um, you have a U-shaped uh, wire rack that goes around. And also you have tons of space down here either to add more shelving or to just have where your shoes go. If you're like me and you're an avid shoe collector, you need all this space. <laughs> so, coming on in here, show you this beautiful master bath. Now, this master does have a dual vanity, his and her sinks. We do have the soft closed drawers in the master bedroom as well, and doors. You actually have a built-in linen closet here for your towels, um, you know, necessities for your bathroom, everything that you might need, and they're soft clothes as well. A decorative sh built-in shelf here, and also two mirrors that, you know, are for his and hers. Now, one other thing is this massive shower. It's a four by eight shower, beautiful tile work on this shower, tiled all the way around, all the way to the outside, and also you have this tile work, you don't usually see this nice of tile work in our homes, but this is a really high end, really nice modular. It's tiled all the way to the window and it just adds some class. So coming on over here, we do have a water closet. I'm gonna show that off. It's just nice to have a separated closet for your toilet. So we did add that in this house as well. So guys, I want to join you in the kitchen and we'll go over some final details of this house. Alrighty guys, so just going over the final details of this home. This is in our Greenville lot, set up as a display model. It's called the Tillery and actually just found out it is at a fantastic price point. But again, just go over the specs of this home. You're looking around 1,900 square foot, um, three bedroom, two bath home, perfect home for any family really in America today. Um, beautiful, beautiful house. So going over the specs and talking with the dealership here, you're looking at um, just the house itself as it sits on a lot, you're looking at the mid 140. So very impressive price point for the this complete quality of this home. I mean, it's really, really good quality for the price point. Um, as we, you know, just wanted to give you that information. Um, but we appreciate that you guys stuck around for the whole tour. I know it's a little bit lengthy one, but it is a beautiful house. I really wanted to show off everything. Um, just a quick PSA. Uh, all my prior videos have been filmed, uh, you know, prior to COVID-19 happening and everything like that. Sorry, I had to get it out. Um, but guys, you know, if you can stay home, be safe, wash your hands. Um, we really appreciate everyone's businesses. As Downey's Homes, we are still open, but of course, we want you to be precautious as if you're going to come out and look at home. So, you know, think about you, think about others. Um, we will get through this. It will get better. Um, but we really appreciate you watching our videos while you're stuck at home. We hope, hopefully we have a lot of videos you could go through and virtually tour our homes if you can't actually make it out to our lots during this time. So I just want to thank you again for viewing these videos. 
and also for subscribing. Make sure you click that little uh, notification bell so that you can be notified the next time we upload a new video. And we'll see you next time, guys.